foundational stuff. So, guys, once we once we get into side control here, we're gonna we're gonna go to our traditional control at first. We're gonna have the, this guy start to do his first move. The moment that you feel this, I'm gonna place my hand to the near side in the what I call the door stop. Put my hand on the near side. You start to push in and shrink away. So you, you have your hand here, your left hand releases, you go to the far side. Okay, so from this position, if I stay here, I could try to get my knee to jam, but he when he gets sideways and he shrimps, that knee comes in. So before that happens, hopefully, he starts to do the move, I'm already here, and then I switch on him. So once I place my hand here, I really wanna get my elbow to the mat, but everybody's different, like body types are different. Dan's larger than me, you, you might see my left elbow not make it to the mat. It just depends. Like right now I have my hand on the mat. I will lower myself and I'll try to put the elbow to the mat, but you see how my elbow is like an inch. If I could drop it, even better. But let's say he was pushing me or whatever, you know, like I'm, 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 I'm pulsing my hand, but my goal is to get that elbow down, okay? My other goal is to make his hit kill the hips with my door stop. If I can't, because Dan's on his side too much, Let's say Dan chooses underhook at this point. He goes, I'm gonna dive an underhook. That's fine, we keep our chest connected. Again, you notice how my elbow's kind of floating? That's okay. I can, I can float my left elbow. It doesn't have to be like this, where I get off balance to my left. I can stay like this. But again, it, once you get a guy like flat on his back, you can be in a nice position here, really controlled. So this is okay, he's a little bit on his side. If you want to get his hips back, you can grab his leg and lift it, putting his hips back. You can also do this number right here, where you kind of bind. This is a good little trick, okay? If you can't do any of that, you can just post it on the floor and crawl your fingers. If he was turned on side, with my right hand. Like just crawling my fingers, like that, even that alone, getting on my toes, driving my head towards his hip, okay? I don't want my head over here, like this, okay? Because now my doorstop gets really weak and I fall into the trap of, um, what I call the doorstop killer, we have, or, or the phantom. So we'll get to that later. So I wanna be a little bit more here, okay? And I'm controlling the hip. Get on my toes if I need to, and I'm here. The cool thing about doorstop, guys, you're, you're controlling the guard, and then all I have to do is circle around, and I have doorstop on the other side. See that, I didn't have to do too much with my arms. And look at his arms, his arms got all twisted up. So he fixes his arms to another position, and now he's like this. If I ever feel threatened, Let's say he got an underhook on this side and he was turning on his side too much. And I was like, oh no, he, he, he's getting to his side. He might get up. I just kind of circle. And now I'm over here. I'm like, oh, look at that. His arms across his neck. There's my gift wrap. You guys see that? So now he fixes his position. He turns back into me. We have a new door stop on this side now. And you see his arm is cut out here. Do I have a choice? I could go here. See that? And now maybe this is going to be my arm bar later. Right? But if he puts his hand on, under my arm, I, I'm like, all right, I don't want to go like this because what's going to happen, he's going to lift the arm and then he's going to escape. Okay, so stay in the door stop. Door stop position, learn how to control. If you feel like the guy's getting on the side too much, circle around. Got a new door stop over here. See that? He pummels in. You kind of, you know, always active pose. And I'm keeping the pressure on him. And you can ride guys here for long periods of time, and then we're gonna get some, some nice sweet submissions, okay? So I want you guys to get into the traditional. The traditional, when I say tradition, neck, underhook, see it? Here, get into this position. Let your partner start to get what he wants. He's about to bridge me, switch on him. Now he's like, dang. He turns on his side, and he's trying to get up on his knees, Remember, just uh, start to go to your knees. You know, I spin and I come around this way. I'm going towards his back. Looking good right here. If he makes it towards his back, door stop here. Okay, toes, head towards the hip. Okay, not head over here. Head towards the hip, little angle. Angle like your half side control, your half north south. Okay? You guys see that position? That way we control the guy. I can't get away. We're gonna get Kamoras. We're gonna get on bars. Let's go. One, two, three.